principal component analysis is a statistical technique that is related to factor analysis and commonly confused with the factor analysis. What principal component analysis does is that it tries to summarize the variables into smaller set of sums, weighted sums of the variables called components. And it, uh, it's a more a data reduction technique uh, concerned about how can we reduce the number of variables without deleting information from the data. It doesn't answer the question what do the indicators have in common, at least not directly. And uh, it's not a very useful technique for assessing uh, measurement models because in principal component analysis uh, it considers all variance in the data. In factor analysis only the common variance is considered. What that means is that our principal component analysis also tries to explain the unreliability of the indicators whereas in a factor analysis we try to take the unreliability and other unique aspects of the indicators and eliminate those so that we can uh, extract what is common between the indicators. In practice if you use a, a factor loading as an estimate of indicator reliability that is okay with some assumptions. If you use the component loading in as an estimate of indi individual indicator reliability then uh, reliability is uh, severely overestimated. The same thing if you apply the so-called Harman single factor test to assess whether one factor can explain uh, the intercorrelations in the data and that's uh, that would be evidence of common method problem applying a component analysis instead of factor analysis will in practically never indicate that you have a, a common method variance problem even if you actually do. So this is a, a, not a substitute for a factor analysis, it's not a factor analysis technique and uh, it's a data summary technique instead. So why do, uh, it's not a very useful when we t work with measurement. So why do people use principal component analysis? The reason is that uh, when you use SPSS uh, and you do uh, a factor analysis from the menus, they, um, you get the dialog that looks like that. Then when you uh, check on the factor extraction button here, it gives you different factor analysis techniques. So you can uh, estimate the factor model in different ways. The default is to do a principal component analysis and that's not a factor analysis technique. There are the others, whether you use principal axis factor in maximum likelihood or minimum residual, it doesn't matter but uh, because they all estimate the factor analysis model. Principal component analysis is not the factor analysis model because it doesn't discover underlying dimensions, instead it summarizes the data. There are really no good reasons to use principal component analysis in social science research because uh, a factor analysis can be used to summarize data. So if you just want to summarize your indicators with a smaller number of summed variables, weighted sums, then uh, factor analysis and principal component analysis will give you uh, pretty similar solutions. If you want to assess whether underlying uh, dimension explains the data, then factor analysis will give you the correct solution under certain assumptions, principal component analysis will not. So uh, it's a good rule never to use principal component analysis in your own research and if you see someone using a principal component analysis or not reporting which factor analysis technique they applied and using SPSS, then it's a good idea to question uh, the author's choices.